when you mentioned how individuals um, they can receive offers from Satan. Another way that people can step into witchcraft unknowingly is to receive offers from the devil that bring promotion. And so a lot of times this happens actually in the realm of dreams. There are things that are offered in dreams and, and sometimes we're having these dreams and we think that they're pure, but really these are satanic offers that are coming to us um, and, and they're doors of compromise and when we begin to go through these doors, it takes us away from what God actually wants for us. And I've had many of these come to me, um, and, and even Jesus did. And so the very foundation of how the enemy operates is, I will give you whatever you want. You have to be very careful of anything that is available to you without a price. You have to be very careful of any power that is offered to you without a price. It, it, it costs you something. And, and when we talk about the kingdom of God, the Bible lets us know that the kingdom is like the, the, the pearl that's in the field, that a man gave everything he had to have it. That is a picture of the kingdom of God. And so if you're able to access uh, accurate words and you have miracles and signs and things like that, but, you, but you're not living in, in a lifestyle of pursuit of the kingdom of God, you know that you don't pray, you know that you don't read the Bible, and you're in gross sin, you're unrepentant, it, that is one of the biggest evidences that you stepped into something false, you stepped into another spirit, and if you're not careful, you're going to get more and more deceived because deception is progressive. Wow, 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 wow. I love, I, just, I love how you talked about deception, it being progressive. So a majority of times we don't know how, when it begins. It's not like the enemy is going to come and say, oh, now I'm the devil and I'm going to give you my powers. A majority of the time, as you said, it begins with lifestyle. So us as men and women of God, people who function and flow in certain gifts, I believe it's our responsibility to, to put boundaries upon our own self, you know, um, because we know that prophesying is fun, casting out devils, healing the sick, and all these things. But we should put bounds. If it's if if it's been a while since you've had a genuine talk with God, prayer session. If it's been a while since you fasted. If it's been a while since you sought God genuinely, apart from you know the the ministry assignment, the church, the you know the the whatever you're doing externally, for you yourself as an individual, you should put certain restrictions on yourself. You know, we should learn to put restrictions on ourselves to safeguard our internal integrity, to safeguard ourselves. Because as you said, I love how you talked about how a majority of times people don't know what they're getting themselves into. And the enemy can come bearing gifts and offers. And, and you brought the realm of the dream into it. And we're going to get into that, the dream realm, because lifestyle, we're also talking about, you know, a repentance sin, but also just flat out witchcraft as well. You know, if you're if you're functioning in a certain um, level of gifting and you're so comfortable doing it without it it's like David said. He said he said I will not give unto God that which cost me nothing. And so although you may be functioning and, and flowing in certain gifts and, and abilities, but if you've been doing it for 2 or 3 years now and you haven't gone on one fast, I mean you haven't spent, you know, you haven't spent you haven't spent time with God. Something is not right there. If, if, if you're living however you want to lawlessly, something is not right there. And, and, and one, of the most, one of the most subtle indicators to me is the way I see people treated in your ministry, right? Because if you're someone, you're very rude, you treat people like objects, like tools that you can just use, and dismiss you treat them like servants instead of laying your life for them you, you want them to come in and, and and tend to your every little need that's an i mean and i'm sure you've seen it in the old church where you'll have the prophet you know and he'll he'll be he'll like, run run to this altar <laughs> run to this altar